Hello everyone, welcome back to SnowRunner once again. We're checking out the Season 2 Pass. The first thing that has been dropped for it is the Tatra Trucks. We finally have Euro Trucks, albeit older Euro Trucks, in SnowRunner natively. It is a DLC. Now you can buy the DLC or you can get the Season 2 Pass. I highly recommend getting the Season 2 Pass because if you buy this DLC separately, you can screw up your chances of buying the Season 2 Pass. It's, it's a big mess. I don't know why they did it the way they did, but that is just how it is. So if you want these trucks really bad, get the Season 2 Pass. Otherwise, you know, you can just buy them separately and not worry about the Season 2 Pass. It's just uh, it's a whole mess. Fire this bad boy up. Listen to this thing. That is such a cool horn. <laughs> such a cute little truck, though, I got to say. Now, you'll notice that the camber of these tires here are very interesting. They're kind of like inward, you know, at an angle. But what I have noticed is, you know, when you have a when you have weight on the back of these things, it flattens them out quite a bit. So that's probably some that's probably a Tatra thing. I don't know. Let's make a right hand turn here and check it out. We have all wheel drive. We can turn on if we would like. Very capable truck. Well, this is completely stock. We haven't even checked out the second Tatra truck yet. And what it is capable of, I don't know. I haven't driven the second one yet. I jumped in here and played this one. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a video on this and show you guys. For those of you that are wondering what's going on with SnowRunner and their Season 2 and their next phase and all that. There's so much coming to this game. And I got to say, this little guy right here very capable service truck I mean you have options to do other things with it but this is what I'm using it for as a service truck and look at this I mean I haven't put anything into this thing and it is doing a fantastic job here in the mud now keep in mind you know mud and snow are the same thing in snow runner so expect the same performance in the snow with this thing we have to, let's drop it into low and then low high here there we go. Look at this thing. Just crawling right up the side of this mountain. No problem at all. That's what we like to see. Indeed. Yeah, you can see the camber on them right there whenever it's coming at you like head on, you know. But cute little truck for sure. I like it a lot. Let's check out the... Oh, man. almost rolled it. Okay, so that's the Tatra 805. Let's go ahead and go into my truck storage. And here's the Tatra T813. The T813. And this is the setup I have it right now, the colors and everything that I chose. Now, if we go into customization, you'll see we have three engine options here. We're going to have to go back to Tamir. We're going to have to go back to different places to get unlocks for these. That is a thing. So keep that in mind. See, you have to go to Wisconsin, to Alaska, to Yukon to find the items for that. So I know, I know what you're thinking. That's going to suck because actually it is, in my opinion. Uh, tire options are here. A lot of options here with that a lot of you know winch you have your diff lock your snorkel only one option for the snorkel frame add-on so you have the saddle high roof rack or the tatra sideboard bed what is great about this truck is that you know you, you're gonna be able to get a lot done with it kind of similar to what we saw in the other truck that i was using which is this bad boy here the krs58 bandit it's kind of a similar kind of style to that but what's weird about it is that there are no options for a crane on this thing. So it's pretty much just a heavy hauler as far as that goes. Rooftop, we've got the uh, large roof fog lights, but we have options here to change those out. You can put the stock head fog lights on there if you would like, which we can throw those on there instead. So you can see just how stock it looks. And it even has the lollipop lights on it. That's really cool. So here are the three options here for your bumpers. You got a lattice, you got a uh, crossbar fog lamp kind of look here, and then the stock. I like the stock. To me, it makes it look like a Tatra, so I like that. Um, but the lattice kind of gives it a more military kind of feel to it, if you ask me. Then we have the round parking lights, external horns, or the twin horns on the side if you want. Exhaust options, you have a muzzle, flap cap, heat shield, or stock. Now, I like the muzzle ones. They're big, fat stacks there in the back right there. Uh, rim options, a couple of rim options. Not a whole lot there, unfortunately. Now, color-wise, if we go to the top, there's a DLC that came with it, DLC paint, and it's a bison on the side of it interesting not really my taste but you know maybe you'll like it i don't know and then decorations i'm not sure if these are the first mate mr wallers and the and i know the dachshund's been there for a while but mr wallers and the first mate those seem new to me i don't remember those so i'm pretty sure that's the case we have more sticker options windshield not this actually you know what i'm pretty sure the sticker options in the 
windshield options haven't really changed much at all. No, don't believe so. Well, let's see what this thing's capable of, shall we? Here she is in all her glory. We'll go ahead and hit the horn on this thing. Pretty decent horn on that. Let's fire this thing up. Yeah, and look at the camber on that suspension. See what I'm talking about? Now, if we put something in the back of the sideboard, I'm pretty sure that's going to flatten those out quite a bit. Because it's not really bad in the back. It's just the front ones there. But what a neat truck, you know? And we'll go back to the little one. Don't worry. I know. We're not going to neglect it. We're going to go back to it in a minute. Check out the interior of this thing. Got my dream catcher in here and my first mate. You can see the shaking of the gear shifter there. But yeah, a very spacious truck. Very nicely textured and, you know, everything that you would expect out of a SnowRunner vehicle is right here. And it's it's fantastic. I really, really love these old school Euro trucks. Am I crazy or does it look like they added more bloom to the game it, with the new update? It looks like it's a little more bloomy. And I went into my options to see if I could change that. It could be the volumetric kind of fog, you know? But yeah, it seems like there's a little bit more bloom added to the game, which is kind of weird they added that so here we are driving into the mud haven't done anything yet okay so go easy goes low and slow no okay let's turn that all-wheel drive on this thing's just gonna crawl right through it you see there oh not too bad let's try auto in in that a okay, auto it pushes right through the mud if we're in low with all-wheel drive it doesn't now if we go into low all-wheel drive turn on that diff now we can just crawl no problem yep there you go not bad at all right Oh, what a cool truck, man. Especially with the dream catcher in there. <laughs> Slinging around. Another neat feature of this truck is look at the back here. You have these little reflectors on these little flaps here. And they are animated. And they go back and forth. Really cool. All right, let's go ahead and drop this thing back into auto. Keep all-wheel drive on. I want to see how this thing does. Going down into the dip. And then climbing on this mountain here. Now, the other little guy did it no problem. Without diff lock. I mean, two separate trucks, of course, but I am just showcasing these two here. Turn our lights on, too. There's those lights. Very interesting looking searchlight on top there. All right. So it did pretty decent through the mud there. Now, let's see on an incline with mud. This is why I like the Wisconsin map is because, man, it really does have some good terrain to test. There we go. I mean, yeah, I'm just holding auto on that. Let's go ahead and put it in the low. A uh, low plus actually, actually no, there is no low plus on this one. Diff lock with low and give it some gas here. And it's crawling no problem. So it seems to me that the auto is still, you know, it seems to be still the way in a lot of trucks. I mean, it depends on the situation you're in, you know, but whatever. No biggie. Anywho, happy Thursday to all of you. I hope you guys had a great week. And you are ready for the weekend. I am going to Nashville for my brother's birthday. So I will be flying out tomorrow. Now, there was no 5PD today. And the reason for that is because we had a bunch of recording issues yesterday. Everybody did. And it just didn't happen. So we're going to try again today. Later on, we're going to get together and do some 5PD together. So that will come out tomorrow. Climb, climb, climb. Oh, yeah, man. I'm really liking this truck. Like, honestly, really enjoying this thing. All right, back to the Tatra 805. Here are your customization options here. You have an engine option. You have four to choose from. Of course, I don't have any of these unlocked. You got to go back to unlock these. Then we have the gearbox options. You have balance, fine-tune, high range, and off-road. Now, I'm not used to the high range one. It's a gearbox variant with increased gear count and top speed and an additional high gear at the cost of lower durability. I ran a off-road in the one we were just using. Suspension options, only a stock. I haven't seen any options for that being, and they would tell you if they had one that was locked. So that's what you get. Tire options, you can have highway, all-terrain, mud tires, and chained. And then we have some winch options here. Diff lock, you have an engageable or unlocked, like I talked about. Snorkel options, a front-facing or a twin tall flat cap, if you want that. Frame add-on, so you can have a small sideboard bed, you know, to make it a fun scout vehicle. You have the maintainer is the one that I was using there, the service trailer. And you can see right there, uh, you get 500 repair parts and two spare wheels, which is nice. Roof rack option, 
and a small fuel carrier. If you want to be a little fuel truck, it holds 900 on that. Now, if we go over here to the visuals, you have the angled with the beacons or the dark slant sun visor. I have the dark slant on there. Rooftop, double tall beacons. I like the alien style ones there or the roof fog lamps if you want that. You can add those as well. Then we have the front bumper options. You have the reinforced hunter or stock. I mean, honestly, the reinforced is not even worth your time. Stock, you got to go with the hunter. That's what I did. Miscellaneous wise, we have external horns as an option here. We can throw those on there. And then rims, you only have one style of rim on those mud tires. Obviously, if we went over here and changed out the tires, something like off road, then we could jump over and then we'd have our different rim options clearly. Uh, but I like the fact I like I like having those tires on it. You got to have your muds on there. There we go. Color options you have. I'll show you the two tones in a minute. No DLC options at the top, which is kind of disappointing. But we have options here for your for service uh, little trailer here. So I really like that one. The green and the white. That's a very classic, uh, you know, retro style looking vehicle. And then your options for decorations, obviously. Nothing has changed there. Up on Erska River here, that map, and we are going to see how this thing performs in the snow and ice. And I like this hill right here is a good one to start with because it is icing all the way up the hill. So, cool things about this season two, uh, you know, past being released, and then also having the first content for it, is I'm glad we're not getting more Russian trucks. You know, that's always been a thing with this dev as we get, you know, a lot of Russian trucks. And I think a lot of people just don't tend to drive them because, you know, they're like, okay, we, we're used to the Russian trucks. We've had that since, you know, Snow Runner and, or sorry, Mud Runner and Spin Tires and all that. So having Euro trucks is a big deal. Now, does this mean we're going to see Euro trucks that are more modern out of this? Maybe. You know, maybe this is a start. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, this thing is spinning them tires in the back there. I just wanted to see this test on the ice. Okay, there we go. Hold the handbrake and then we're just sliding down. Let's go and put all-wheel drive on. Just try all-wheel drive here. Oop. Come on, buddy. You got it. All-wheel drive in this ice. That seems to be doing much better. It's still a little slick getting up the hill here for sure. Yep. Although, we could probably put this into diff lock. Now, a great thing. I know you're already probably telling me to do it, but if you come all the way to the left and you put half of your tires in the snow, you're going to get grip. That's the best way to get up the side of these kind of mountains if you don't have snow chains on you want to use all the grip you can in the snow and you're seeing it do exactly that we're not even using diff lock let's go to low and then diff lock here and see how this does that's much better you can just kind of climb right along here no problem at all very nice so to me i think you know this is a step into getting euro trucks into the the game which i'm excited for personally i think that's going to be awesome all right, let's put this thing into auto. All wheel drive, just spin these damn tires, because why not? There we are. And we get right over the hill. Let's see how the other little Tatra does here on the ice hill, shall we? Okay, I put the little small sideboard bed on this thing. There we go, fire it up. Bum -bum. I love that horn so much. <laughs> and I'll show you the interior here. We haven't seen the interior of this one yet very very old school has some like volkswagen kind of style to it like old old volkswagen let's go this way back up the big hill we go bum, bum, bum. i have my little walrus down there a little ice walrus hanging on that slab of ice because that's you know what we like to see oh man this thing's already getting sideways let's get them beacons on because you know we don't want to we don't want to see people coming down this highway here and smashing into us. Just kidding. All right, climb over that. No problem. Don't slide in there. We're good. All right, get some speed here. No all-wheel drive. This is just straight up, you know. Okay. Insta stop. <laughs> it just insta stop. All right, hold that down. Let's do all-wheel drive and see how this does. Just all-wheel drive on it. I mean, you know, you can slide over here and get your traction in the snow. No problem. There we go. It's handling it pretty darn good, actually. Oh, yeah, it's got it got a lot of speed right there, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, I get these like old like Mini Cooper slash kind of beetle look to the front end here. Or like even like a, you know, old 
I think that's the reason why I'm thinking of like Volkswagen is because I'm thinking of uh, like a mini bus, you know? There you go. All right, like a surfer van. Here's low and all wheel drive. Let's drive back onto the ice here. Granted, I know we could put chains on this and it would make a world of a difference. So I just want to see what this thing can do without the chains. And it looks like it's doing pretty darn good climbing that hill like that. All right, back over to auto. So we just spin the tires and we can use our winch for the first time. That was a bad winch spot. That was not good at all. And go back up here. Whee! Spin those tires on that ice. There we go. We're good now. And we made it into the snow. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. There we are. Slow it up, slow it up, slow it up, up, up. See how it does in this. I'm gonna turn all wheel drive off and just go down into this stuff. It's like that mud slash ice. Oh yeah, I got hung up on it pretty good there. Now if we go low and just crawl. It seems like it's doing it. it seems like, yeah, if you just barely give it gas in low and crawl out of it, I mean, it's a mud tire, so it's, you know, it should. There you have that. All right, cool. So even lightly loaded, it's a very capable little truck, I must say. Very, very happy with it. I like the, what we have seen so far with this season pass, but you may have a different opinion, you know, that is perfectly fine. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, and that's going to do it for this episode of SnowRunner. We'll be back to showcasing mods soon. I have some cool mods and I do know there are Euro truck mods out there, especially recently. I plan to check those out eventually, but we want to see what's in the native game and what is to come. Anywho, that'll do it. I'll see you next time. Take care. I often get asked, Jeff, do you have any merch? And the answer is yes. You can check out the link in the description or you can just click right here on this video and it will take you to the merch store. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it, guys.